Passengers arrived here on Acela 2150 almost two hours late this morning after what one expert calls a very unusual incident. Two of the train cars uncoupled while traveling at more than 100 miles an hour. It happened on a stretch of track near Havy de Grace, Maryland. Two Acela cars uncoupled. Zoom in, you can see the coupler that came undone, but cables and chains prevented the cars from becoming completely untethered. Sources say the D.C. to Boston train was traveling at more than 124 miles an hour moments before the uncoupling. Amtrak says there were 52 passengers on board, no injuries. This picture shows it happened at a vestibule where passengers can move between cars. Mark Rosenker is a safety expert. If uh, someone would have been actually crossing from one car to another, potentially they could have fallen through that separation. Amtrak, Metro North, NJT, all plagued by safety concerns. Tuesday, the National Transportation Safety Board reported on the 2016 crash that killed a woman at the Hoboken Terminal. It blamed NJT for failing to diagnose sleep apnea in train engineer Thomas Gallagher or install special controls to prevent accidents inside the terminals. Attorney Thomas Klein represents the family of the woman who died, Fabiola de Kroon. There needs to be, first and foremost, safety reestablished on our rails and that a combination of human and systemic problems can lead to fatalities. Riders are paying attention but reacting in their own way. I feel very safe. I know that there's accidents that occur once in a while. I think it's pretty terrifying and it's, you know, it shows the frail state of our transportation system and uh, I'm not very comfortable taking the train. Political leaders claim they are getting the message. New Jersey rookie governor Phil Murphy is basically cleaning house at New Jersey Transit. He's hiring a new executive director, and today the head of NJ Transit Railroad Operations announced his departure. Live at Penn Station, Tony Aiello, CBS 2 News. Okay, Tony, 